Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4, Part 2, Episode 7. And yeah, last episode, Annie came out of the crystallization after, what, 5 years, 6 years or whatever? So, pretty long time by now. And we will see what's going on with her. And yeah, Falco got taken by Connie, who wants to feed Falco to his mother so that she can turn into a human again. And yeah, otherwise... Armin and the rest and Mikasa had to defend themselves from the Titan that Zeke created because maybe Eren had no control over those. Um, and yeah, otherwise Eren is just on his way to Malane, right? And I guess that will take a few episodes because he's not the fastest boy, right? Right now, so yeah, we will see. If you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or a comment. Let me know what you think and I would say let's get to the episode. Rumble, 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 rumble. <coughs> oh, Hachi. Mm hmm. Everything's gonna be okay. Just thousands of Titans. I feel like they don't really realize what was going on. I want to protect all the Eldians, but a few have to die. <laughs> Yeah, it's very much split now. Oh, Hitch, not Hachi. Yeah, some are like, yeah, what Evan does is good, and a few sacrifices are okay. And others are like, but man, no, it's just wrong. <clears throat> who got out of oh any yeah i wanted to say who came out of the basement and is wet nani It's cool, we're all friends here. Can Eren maybe deactivate the ability to, to transform? <clears throat> what if she can't transform because Eren deactivated it, maybe, as Founding Titan? That would be crazy. I mean... I would imagine, <clears throat> I would imagine that it could be the case, right, that the Founding Titan can deactivate the ability to transform, right, because he can manipulate all the aliens, the bodies and all, right. Imagine he could do that, and he did it, so that would be like 
a big threat less, right? No more Car Titan that could go against him. No more Armin as Colossal Titan that could go against him. No Jaw Titan that could go against him. No Female Titan that could go against him. If Zeke is still alive, I don't know if he is. No more Beast Titan that could go against him. I mean, otherwise, there's just a Warhammer Titan, I think, and that's an Aaron. <laughs> So all they could rely on are like weapons, right? And I would imagine that most weapons against the founding titan now, Aaron, wouldn't be really strong. I would I would imagine that he is very durable right now, right? Really hard. <laughs> That's also wrong. <laughs> um but yeah. <clears throat> I would like to see how, like, anti-Titan cannons would do against Eren. If they could, like, damage him. Damn. Okay, it's just four years? Okay. Having to listen to Armin all the time. <laughs> wow, giving intel to the enemy. <laughs> Same as Gabi. Mm-hmm. That's what the Malayan said. To get tools. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, she stomped insects and all that shit. So it's not her real father, then. And he trained her. Oh, for his own gains. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Because why else would you take in some child if you have... If you have a shitty life yourself, right? I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, damn. You're finally strong. The backstory? Now it's my turn. <clears throat> oh really why what changed his mind Okay, and now she wants to save him, I guess. I guess now she doesn't want him to die because of that. <clears throat> and Aaron is on his way to kill him, basically. So I guess she is against Eren, I would guess, now, because of this. Rumbling. <clears throat> yeah, they can warn them, but will they listen? I mean, yeah, I, it could be all just a plot, right? Oh, is he attacking? Oh, oh, that's him. Okay, yeah, yeah. I want to say, is that him? I wasn't sure. And he's attacking now. He dead? Okay. I mean, you could kill all the Jaegers, right? Then you get control back. <laughs> More dead people. Damn. The next generation has to survive.
Damn. I mean, I would say they should have just killed the mother, right? Just two days? <laughs> I mean, isn't this kind of torture to let the mother stay as Titan the whole time on her back? <laughs> Imagine how she feels if she comes out. If she has any m memory of that, which I think she might not have. Ah, they're fine, I guess. Armin in shambles. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of right. I mean, there are so many problems right now. You can't think about all of them. I mean, I guess even Erwin wouldn't have a plan right now, right? Because there's so much shit going on. <clears throat> Who has a scarf? But the rumbling stopped, so I guess they are away now. Or it just stopped so that the screen isn't shaking when they are just talking, right? <laughs> you're one of us now. So you're Mia. Yeah, it just stopped because so that the screen isn't shaking the whole time. <laughs> Ten months ago. Is Zeke dead? I don't know. I mean... Aaron grabbed Zeke, right, or something. Well, he's dead.
Some would say otherwise. Locke lost his mind. That what happened. I mean, that's not what he wants anymore, really. Or? Is he happy about it, or is he just like, are you kidding me, dude? That's a lie. Oh, the lie. I saved you. Uh. <laughs> Maybe when Falco talks to him more, maybe he changes his mind. And is like, yeah, I can't do it. What am I doing here? Maybe. That's the, also a reason. <laughs> oh, Han, Hanji. He's just almost dead. Of course he's not dead. Who would believe that? So yeah, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, right? I mean, we got Annie's backstory, basically, right? How she got that it's not really her, her father, that he trained her basically to become a warrior so that he has a better life. But then somehow, some way, who knows why, each changed his mind and just wants her to be back, right? That she comes home and worries more about her, I guess, than a better life, maybe, I guess. And yeah, Armin is out of options. He doesn't know anything. He just wants to save right now uh, Falco from Connie. And that's his goal right now. He has no other plans because there's just too much going on where he doesn't know how to fix any of it. And... Yeah, otherwise, 
Block took over again, right, for Aaron. And otherwise, yeah, Levi is still alive. I mean, who would have guessed? Why would have Anji taken Levi and jumped into the uh, into the river if he would be dead, right? Why risk your own life and risk dying while escaping if he would be dead, right? That would make no sense. I mean, maybe to get to Aaron, right? But why take Levi with you who would just slow you down, right? If he would be dead. So, makes sense. He, obviously, he's alive. And, yeah, now they co get in contact with Peak and Magath is his name, I think. Or Magath, I don't know. Um, I guess maybe to get together, right? And maybe get a plan together where they where they work together and then try to stop Aaron somehow maybe because I mean that's obviously the main goal right now for many not every everyone because there's Locke and others and some that are still on Aaron's side but I guess the main goal right now is for many to find a way to stop Aaron because they are not happy with what is happening and yeah I'm I'm wondering if Gene is really like when he said like it's over I'm wondering if he's really like thinking about it right now. Is it really over? Can I stop with all this killing and stuff? Can I just have a normal life now without fighting, killing and all that stuff? Or if it's like maybe like what the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> because I mean, yeah, Gene back in the day when the anime started, he would just want to be in the uh police, right? And wanted to have a easy life behind the walls and yeah but then he went into the survey corps and did all this titan fighting shit which he didn't want to do at all basically and I, yeah i don't know i i would i would say that gene is not the same anymore right he did all the hard choices and did all the fighting to save humanity and all that stuff so doing that for so many years i mean i could say that maybe after all these years that that's his new goal basically right to save humanity or the aliens and stuff fight for them right but i mean back in the days the fighting was basically titans right that's the main objective and then it became fighting against other humans right that are in malayne that have attacked so that already changes everything drastically right so at that point he could be like okay that we are still fighting but now instead of titans we have to fight humans or maybe at this point he went to be it was maybe more like it's not what i want to do anymore For ti fight fighting titans that attack us constantly cool fine okay but fighting humans yeah right it's different um so I don't know, maybe getting the idea that maybe all the fighting is over and that he could leave, uh, so or that he could live an easy life, right, without fighting, maybe that sounds really good. I mean, if you are pretty much a, a child soldier, right, that's what they are. They are children and they train to become soldiers to fight the Titans. So if you're basically a child soldier, for a big chunk of your life, right? Um, and then it goes into killing humans, right? From titans to humans. And then suddenly you get told, hey, you don't have to fight anymore. It's over. It could sound very good, right? No more killing. No more risking your life. Just live a peaceful life. That sounds very good or not. <laughs> So I could get it if Gene maybe really likes the idea that it's maybe over now. So yeah, will be interesting to see. And I guess the next episodes we will, <coughs> and I guess the next episodes we will just see Aaron and the rumbling in the background. Well, not Aaron, but the rumbling in the background. How the Titans walk past them, um, and just see what happens for the others. Right, I guess. It seems like really that only at the end of the season maybe we see Aaron again, how he appears in Marlene on the horizon and then to be continued next season. So yeah, 
will be interesting to see what happens next and how I mean also like any Annie, any whatever. Um, I guess by now that her foster father, I could, I think you could say, um, wants her back and wants her to be safe. I guess because of that, she wants him also to be safe now, right? Before she didn't give a fuck, but now she cares, I guess. And so I guess that means maybe that she's also against Aaron because Aaron otherwise would kill her foster father. So yeah, we will see. So if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.